Hello and welcome to Fatal Frame or Project Zero Two. I've got the US version, but it doesn't make much difference. Um, finished the first game yesterday. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it, even though I, I did think overall it was a, a flawed but good game. Um, I was helped through the end by some people in the chat, which was nice. Uh, that helped me get through it, so any more of that is very much welcome. Let's see how this one goes. Graphically, I can already see it's better. Didn't we always promise oh, I say that then. That we would always be together. Dun. Looks like I'm going to have to play it in the kind of PS2 view. Okay, straight away. Cutscenes look nicer. Yeah. Yeah. Is your leg okay? Does it hurt? It does a little bit. I'm fine. Mia? Yes? Are you an evil twin? I don't know. Never mind. Oh shit. But what time? Back when? Mayu, where have you gone? She's going deeper into the forest. She's following the flutterbys. Just like that fateful day. The butterfly whisperer. She talks to the butterflies. Tripping out. Crimson butterfly, okay. Oh. Okay. It's already looking a lot cleaner than the previous game. The flashbacks, oftentimes, or flashes of whatever they are. We're often such a mess I can understand what was going on, which is added to the uh, kind of horror allure, but still, allure. Okay, let's just take a look at something. Okay, so it looks like we can play this one in the high resolution, which is cool. Is it going to be the same places as the first game? Maya! It does amaze me how good these games look. There's a Kuma going to come out. So it's going to have no face. Or a beetle for a face. No, she, she didn't have a beetle face. What is this? A shrine for ants? Oh, she's become queen of the butterflies. A lost village. Look what we found! It's not lost anymore. 
Crimson Flutterby. Okay, that's a little bit annoying with the subtitles, but I, it's something I can live with. Ching! Chapter 1, The Lost Village. Okay, so he's not going to do it by nights this time. Whew. I'm fucking... I'm out of here. Oh, she's going to follow me. In the last game, there wasn't any subtitles, so I had to lean in. So this is definitely better than leaning in, that's for sure. Okay, that looks like where we're meant to go, so I might go the opposite direction. This lantern has a dim glow. The game can be saved here. Whoop, whoop. Game data cannot be found. Let's make some game data. The only thing I read in preparation to this game was just to see whether there's any uh, glitches in PCSX2. Um, I need to read it again because I've gone and forgotten it. Just that there's one room where if you don't find the key item, you can never get back into that room again. Which is a little bit silly, but glitches are glitches, not designed that way. Glitches get... Stitches. Lots of shrines in the first game. And they're going straight into the shrines for this one. Huge talon-like stone pillars are lined up around the giant pedestal rock. Maybe it's some kind of altar. It does look like it's covering something rather than it itself being something. I'm liking the visuals. The visuals are cool. The statue of the Garden Deity appears to be a carving of twins. There seem to be many statues just like this throughout the village. How do you know? You've not been in the village yet. I don't want to go into the village straight away. I can't make up my mind. Well, let's just make sure I've done this correctly. I put... Fatal Frame 2? Yes, I have. Cool. I mean, the truth is I'm playing Fatal Frame just because there's more Americans than British people. So the chances are they'll know it more. So, yeah. I don't think it's a bad name anyway. It's not like it detracts at all. There's something on the ground. Black bag. There's several pieces of paper and a photo inside. News clipping. A news clipping from a year ago. The headline reads, Geological Survey are Missing. With the start of construction for All God's Dam Appro- All God's Dam Approaching. All God's Dam Approaching. That's weird. Masumi Mikamura, 26, a geological surveyor and dispatched to the area has gone missing. Mr. Makamura went to the area to investigate the site that would be submerged once the dam was built, but hasn't been heard from five days. Okay. Seems like a follow-up to the other news clipping. Search for Masumi Makamura, the surveyor missing since the 4th of this month, came to a close yesterday. Mr. Makamura had been helping to conduct a geological survey for All God's Dam. As of yesterday, he has been missing for 10 days. A couple. Photo of a man and a woman attached to the news clipping. Photos and maps can be browsed by choosing the file option in the menu. Okie dokie. I'm going to be really annoying and run in the opposite direction. Well, no, I'll keep on going. I will go back the other way, though. I kind of want a... I don't like... Oh. I don't have a camera yet, so I can't take a picture of... Walkie Walkie Ghost.
I wonder if anyone's here. You just saw someone. Mm. Are you Oh, so they're automatically going. Oh! We've got floaty ghost time. You can see a kimono room beyond the lattice. Oh, it did say lattice room, there's a key item. You could probably get to it from somewhere inside the house. Maybe I don't want to be inside the house. I was just. Oh, okay, it's gone to the door already. She's seeing shit. Mayu, what's wrong? Where's my fucking camera? I don't want to kill anyone. <laughs> what was that? I just wanted to go up the other direction, but no. The game's like, you've got to go this way. Don't go too far. Woman's Notebook. A page torn from notebook is near the sunken fireplace. I've heard rumours about the lost village before. Long ago a massacre occurred on the day of the ceremony, and the village was wiped from the map. Twin deity statues in the forest lead lost people to the village entrance. Once you pass through the gate, however, you cannot go back. The village eternally relives that night of death. The insane laughter of a woman is said to echo throughout the village. The only survivor of the massacre at the village was a lone woman. And a pasta recipe of the gods. Oh. Uh, maybe I'll check this room out a bit further first. Oh, looks like I had a view and I lost a view. Well, hi and bye. I like to explore everything, and I get in this get the feeling in this game if I go too far, I'm just gonna screw myself up. Let's just check this room out. Do I have a map? Cool. Okay, I like that. I don't have to collect a map. Okay, I'm going to go into this room and hopefully find a key item. So I think this is the glitchy room they were talking about. Lantern. Oh, oh, they're save points. Cool. I like that the shiny things are orbs this time. Oh, sometimes I sense someone passing by the window. He carries a torch and mutters things. 
seems to be searching for somebody, but it's not Masumi. In the distance I can hear some kind of sad ceremonial song being sung. They say that this village vanished on the day of the ceremony, and that that day is repeated over and over again. So is that lady from the photograph, I'm assuming? I feel like we're being watched by someone. There's something in the drawer. Hmm, I might have to check, see whether... I'm... I might have to check the settings, see whether the colour's down or not. There doesn't seem to be anything in the urn. I can't even see an urn. There's some old kimonos in the chest. They look like women's kimonos. Okay. You gonna let me through? Are you? Yeah? Okay. I've got to say, again, some, straight away an improvement is that the kimonos do look a lot more like kimonos this time. Because in the first game, they just looked like weird red sheets of meat or something. Cool, and it shows... Hmm, okay, so I'll continue on the ground floor before I go upstairs. Does look like the woman from the photo. It looks like an atrium beyond the lattice. You can see a deck beyond the atrium. I can't really tell what I'm looking at. There's a hanging painting here, but it's so faded you can't even see the colour of the flowers. Oh. Uh, what is... The sliding door of the closet won't open anymore. Maybe it's warped. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, the torn notebook page has been stuffed into the bedding as has fallen out. <clears throat> Someone, anyone, whoever sees this, look for me. I'm trapped in this village. Help me, Miyako Sudo. Okay, so we have items hidden in places where we can't necessarily see. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm definitely going to have to turn up the... Uh, Brightness. Cold wind blows in from the atrium. So I just found medicine in what was effectively the void of darkness. Okay, let's go up the stairs and take a look. Take a peek peek. I need my camera. Are they going to use both the sisters for puzzles? Or are they going to give me lots of stupid, slidey door puzzles again? Slidey rock door puzzles. Oh. I don't want to trust you. you. You're weird. And you make me go places I don't want to go. You go open the door, I'm just gonna look at it. Oh. Could there be someone on the other side of the door? Yes. Okay, you can change direction on stairs. That makes me happy. Couldn't do that before. Oh. Which way to go? Oh, they all look. 
Even the annoying. Oh, is that the first room? Yay! Okay. So. That's cool. We have a direction. Paper shade lamp is lit. There doesn't seem to be anything special in the closet. Not necessarily after anything special, just herbs, really. Oh. A dead end. Oh. What did I just... Okay, so it is a door. This is a problem I had with the first game as well, is if you hit the button too fast, you completely miss um, any of the writing. Creepy, keep, freak, but, but, creepy camera angles. Keep them creepers. It's a bit cold. Burr. It looks like an old cold brazier. There's dust inside it, hasn't been used for a long time. Plus has come loose because of moisture from outside. Where's notebook number three? A piece of the memo lands is on the floor. Masumi, it's me, Miyako. I came to look for you. Let's go home together. Together we can make it. Call for me if you find this. I'll be nearby. I miss you. Gather this is a similar situation to um, the characters from the first game. The brother and sister both existed in the same place, but kind of on a different plane. There's some murky water in the wash basin. Num num num. Okay, can I go down? No? You're not allowed is this? Come on, get up. The lanterns at the back of the garden, they're lit. Yeah, but can I go down there? I can look, but I can't go down. Am I missing something here? Is there... Is there a way I can go down? Pretty please? Let me down. Fine. I won't go down there then. Another thing from the original game was often rather than finding your own way, you had to trigger cutscenes. Which I don't mind. She's lost her sister. You need to stop walking off. Oh. There was someone over here. The creepy sister. Sees the flutter bys. Door is slightly ajar. We'll open it then. Slightly a fish. Give me this shiny. Strange about this place. No shit. The whole village shouldn't be here. There's a flashlight on the table. Yes. Seems like batteries are still good. Someone must have left it here. Camera obscura pointers. An old book is under the flashlight. Camera pointers is written on the cover. Camera Obscura Pointers. This camera was made by uh, Dr. Asso. 
to take photographs of beings in the spiritual plane that normally cannot be seen. It can reveal events from the past through the lingering thoughts of individuals. It is also able to photograph spiritual beings that are invisible to the human eye. Taking a photo of an unseen being has an exorcismal effect that simultaneously creates a sort of link with them. If the camera obscura is used carelessly, these beings may even gain the upper hand on the user. Okay, don't know what that means yet. I wonder if I can photograph the site at the heart of this village, village's forbidden ritual. If Dr. Asso were here, I'm sure he would be excited. Shigeru Makabe. Put the camera obscura pointers in your file. It's much older than, it's much older than the flashlight. It seems like it's originally from this house. I don't get it. Do I get a camera as well? Or just the flashlight? <coughs> oh, there we go. No one infuses horror into mechanical objects like uh, the Japanese. Oh. This is the camera obscura. It takes pictures of impossible things. Okay, we've got another rope bound pile of rocks. Oh, the grabby hands. What was that? The grabby hands. It can't be the same lady. We're going to take a picture of some ghosties. Yeah. Basic operations. The camera obscura is a special camera that allows the, you to exercise spirits by taking photographs of them. When you face a direction where a spirit is, the filament on the bottom right of the screen of the top the little, the little glow. Once you've located a spirit, raise the camera with a circle button. And when you found the spirit, center it in the viewfinder, and press the X button or the R1 button to take a photo. Okay. So much like the first one. <sighs> okay, this time it's got the controls the right way around. You look with this one. I oh, know, is that good or is that bad? Or have I just got used to it? I don't know. Scrapbook from the note. Uh, yeah, it's not a scrapbook. Sometimes I hear an eerie, long like sound, song like sound coming from the family altar. It sounds like it's coming from deep below. Maybe it's just the wind, or maybe there really is something behind that wall. Who's that dude? Something on the floor. Okay, meds, that's what I like. Oh, hey.
Come on, out of the way. The sister obscura. <coughs> well, the filament hasn't lit up yet. Oh, get out of the way. Come on. All right, let's check the wall. Sliding door is broken and won't budge. Cold out the cold outside air blows in between the cracks. Hello. Where the fuck am I going then? I'm having a bit of a moment. I wish I could tell her to stand still. Do not follow me. Oh. Hello. Could have got it out of her ages ago. The present you are feeling in front of the door has gone now. You said that you can capture things that ordinary people can't with this see with this camera. Could this be the power of the camera obscura? Yes. Is the answer to that question? Um, did I go upstairs? Yeah, because I came down some stairs. Let's take a look in the other room now. I've got a flashlight. Oh, I can hear ghost noises. What's under that trap door? Check everything out first, then save. Come on, let me through. She's like a bully, she's just barging into her sister all the time. Can I refill my ammo from here? I don't want to copy the photos. Yeah, I'll finish the editing. Resume me. I think I'm going to miss quite a few doors if they're all that colour. Just blending in. Okay, let's check this door out again. <clears throat> No, it is locked. There's a padlock engraved with the family crest representing Ginger on the door. Ginger! As no one ever called it. In my faux French accent. You 
give this place once more of a once over just to see that I haven't missed anything and then I'm going to try and exit you can see the room on the other side through the crack between the sliding doors It annoys me that I can't get down there. Is there no stairs? Okay, well, let's try and get out of the building then. I mean, I didn't really have a problem with the previous game when it came to the exploration side of things. Yeah, it was a bit wonky with the camera angles. And the controls were a bit wonky as well. But didn't have a problem. It was mainly the fighting of ghosts with the camera. So that's what we've got to see. Whether that's improved at all. Last time, halfway through the game, I read a guide basically saying, don't worry about the... Uh, the extra powers just get in there and do the general power ups so oh son of a bitch oh looks like we're going over there then Okay, that's kind of cool. Last time, whenever you saw ghosts, they would, as soon as you took the picture, they were just, they were gone. Seems to be held shut by some powerful force. Okay, we know where that is. A different place shows in the photo. It looks like a coal brazier or some, somewhere. We love coal around these parts. And that'd be over this way. Just gonna check that this is actually working. Yes, it is working. Cool. Last time I started the game, for some reason, OBS was just recording the top right hand corner of um, of my screen, which was handy. I wasted an hour doing that. No, oh, that was a bit too... <clears throat> Something shows in the photo. Someone holding someone else. Or is it of the camera? Looks like an injured man. Who is buried here. Oh. Turned into swirlies and swirled away. Oh shit. Oh, so it takes time to take the next photo if I just saw in the top right there. This dust in the coal brazier isn't been used for a long time. Do I just have to make him go swirly swirls? Or was that enough to release the powerful spiritual pressure keeping the door shut? Find out next time we go through this room. Oh, 
Her sister's gonna get us in a lot of shit. She's definitely gonna get kidnapped at some point and then used for a ritual. What's she lolloping for? Okay. Oh. You can tell it's a Japanese game by that shot. Pantsu. Okay, we were in here earlier. What did that say? There's something inside. There's a lump in the bedding as if there's something inside. It does look person shaped actually now that they mention it. No, I don't want to go near that anymore. Thank you. I'll stay away from the person shaped stuff. Okay. She was blocking this door, wasn't she? I think so. I mean, I found the notebook from there already. This is going to be another triggery moment. Fine, I'll go back out. Go. Oh. If in doubt, do something else. There's something shining on the closet. Oh, the Jean Gere key. Ah, I didn't get her in time. So I gather the fact that there's like a loading bar at the top there means I can't just snap away taking photos. Which is a cool idea. Lens? That's a new thing for this one? Okay. The size of the capture circle, this can be increased with an upgrade. Okay, so similar to last time. Wait, what? Okay, <clears throat> adds a spirit orb to a basic function or power up lens. Increases the max level. Okay, I suppose I'll know what that's about once I find orbs and shit. And we have no functions yet. Okay. Let's go for the ginger door. Ah, you, ah. Gotta be quick. It's padlock engraved with fam. Yeah, well, yeah, I know. Right. It's 
let's take our time. There's an orb over there. I like orbs. Big fan of them. Something in the drawer. Yay, medicine. The surface of the folding screen has come loose and is falling off. It will probably be if it was probably a painted scene at one time, but it's hard to tell now. If I speak slower, I might not fumble over my words. Ooh. We found some more film. You're too quick, ghosty ghost. Notebook number six. Have I found five? How much time has passed since I came here? How long will this night last? I can't take the darkness. It's driving me crazy. I have to get out of here. I have to see Masami. Am I missing one? No. Okay, cool. No, book seven. I must be tired. If I start to relax, I pass out, even in a crazy place like this. The darkness here is creeping into my dreams. Slaughter, rivers of blood, fallen people, a woman in the bloodstained kimono, insane laughter, and twin sisters calling out, Don't kill me. That woman's laugh is seared into my mind. I don't want to sleep anymore. I don't want to find notebooks, I want to find items. Give me all the health items. Come on. Son of a... Okay, in the previous game you could press triangle and spin around. Don't think you can do that here. Notebook 8. I'm assuming we found my note. He was in the village. I can see him soon. I can't move. I'll wait here. He'll be back. He'll find a way, the way out. If he comes back... He came. Don't wander off. Transparent ghosty, giving you a hug. Transparent ghosty. He's really tall. Capturing exercising spirits. You can exercise spirits by taking photographs of them with the camera obscure. The greater the, the greater the response indicated on the charge gauge in the capture circle, the greater damage you can inflict on the spirits. When the charge gauge glows red, that's, that instant is a, sh a shutter chance. If you can shoot during this instant, you can inflict heavier damage on the spirit and repel it back farther. Blast back! Using the blast back ability will push back an approaching spirit. You must have film to shoot. When shooting in, in succession, you have to wait for the next shot to load before shooting again. While loading, press the shutter button. It will have no effect. Yeah, I did notice that. High power film gives more damage and loads quicker. Okay.
like a power gauge was the power gauge was on the bottom of the screen of the last one. Let me turn around. Fuck are you? That's great, but I can't fucking tell where you are. Or there. Oh yeah, I see it. Where's a health bar though? Do they have health bars in this one? No? Before she gets too bitey. Oh no, she's like the character from the first one. She's got a habit of waking up. After taking out the ghosts, chapter two, Twin Shrine Maidens. This is going to be a note from her sister saying, I thought I'd walk off somewhere. It looks like a glowing blue crystal. That's, uh, that spirit must have dropped it. They're always dropping Aragonite. Aragonite. Spirit orb, yay! Spirit orbs are items to use to raise the maximum levels of the camera's basic functions or power up lenses. Use a spirit orb from function from function upgrades on the camera menu to increase the maximum level of the camera function or power up lens. After adding a spirit orb to one of the camera's basic functions or power up lenses, you can raise its level by using the points you've accumulated through capturing spirits. Okay, so what it, it gates the skills now? Spirit Stone Radio. I can listen to voices? Okay. <sighs> Through the use of crystals in its circuits, this improvised version of a crystal radio, because there's loads of those in the world, is able to tune into voices from the spirit world. If a person wears a crystal for a long time, their thoughts will remain within, creating a special type of crystal, a spirit stone. According to Dr. Esso, the radio can also pick up sounds from the spirit world, indicating feelings and intuitions in a similar manner to the sympathetic phenomenon that occurs between twins. Uh, okay, cool. How many points have we got? Not many. Mm -mm -mm.
Okay, so you put the orb in, then you've got to activate the orb of points? Weird. Okay, I'm going to find a save, a save point, a save point. Because that's a good place to stop. Oh. Oh, we've got another folklorist. The ceremony master, Mr. Kurosawa, gave me a very warm welcome. The village has no chief. The ceremony master presides over the village. I wonder if this village was founded by people who wanted to preserve their sacred rituals and festivals. Most notable among all gods' folklore is the Gate to Hell legend that has been passed down for years. It's an archetypal tale of a gate or hole that marks the border to the world of the dead, also called Hades, the underworld or the netherworld. Or hell. Um, it is a forbidden place that is feared and hated, but is also worshipped as well. The idea of hell has been the core belief of humans since ancient times. This village supports the theory that the belief is universal. The forbidden ritual regarding this gate to hell that takes place here is something no one is allowed to see or speak of. This strict taboo is probably the result of a ceremony concerning the border with hell coming closer to the living world. The villagers lead a simple life. Deep in the mountains, they struggle to forage food for their daily meals. The village has little contact with the outside world. They continue to practice the ways of old, frozen in time. They are indeed frozen in time. Okay. I want to freeze my save point in time. And there's a door. Is that a door? I can't tell. No, it's not a door. Maybe a cupboard. Let's take a peek. No? Okay. Right, so my sister's fucked off somewhere, which is really handy. You would wait, wouldn't you, if your brother or sister just collapsed after taking a photograph of a ghost? You wouldn't just fuck off somewhere. Well, I wouldn't. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to be cryptic for no reason. Ching ching. Oh, do I get to control her now? The butterflies. The crimson butterflies. Can I find items for her? Oh, we've got invisible walls. Might better follow the the butterflies. Can I catch the butterfly? No. Is the answer to that question? I can't. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, there's a ghosty ghost. Excuse me, have you seen my butterflies around here? I suppose that's their way of saying that's because they're twins they've got this psychic link which is cool I hope, I hope they play into it quite a bit right I'm gonna save and end this video you found a camera equipment and film you acquired the slow power-up lens slow down the movement of a spirit spirit power required one upgrade extends duration temporary slow down the movement of a spirit being photographed press triangle button when you're charged one or more spirits. Blah, 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 blah. While this effect is active, the spirit will move slower and the shutter chances will be longer. Okay, cool. Making the spirit easier to capture. This is especially effective against quick spirits or spirits that are difficult to time. Raising the level of this effect extends its duration. You found some camera equipment and film. Quite the measure equipped function. Okay, they're really rolling out the functions. Function shows spirit HP. When this function is equipped, it shows the remaining HP of the closest spirit in the capture circle in the viewfinder's upper left corner. Oh, so I can only have one or the other? That's fucking cheeky. Shows the HP? Okay. Oh, there it goes. 
Oh, okay, I get it. So this time those extra skills can be powered up. Alright, time to save. If it lets me. Mm -mm. Look at you. No, not doing anything. So the door open. Where are you? I am too slow. Okay, at least she's Whoa! She's definitely quicker in this game than the first game, that's for sure. Do I get you? Okay. I think that's meant to make me test the uh, speed up, but I was trying to save the item. Time to save! Okay. Right. Um, I might be on again later. I don't think I had many viewers this time, but I don't mind. Um, if you do watch this video on YouTube, thank you for checking it out. And if I've done it right, um, above me should be, if you want to subscribe, and over there, or over there, over there, should be where you can check the next video once I've made it. Um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>